Hey guys, this is Light Sonic 25 here, and welcome back to my playthrough of Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Wii U. So last time we went through Leaf Cup with um with Pink Old Peach, the irrelevant character. And now we're going to go through the last of the retro cups. And that's the lightning cup. So, to end off this, well, all these tracks, we're going to go out with a bang with Rosalina. Let's see, what would be a perfect cart for this kind? I want to use a bike. I don't know why you keep... I don't know why I use bikes often in Mario Kart 8. Or in a Mario Kart series. I don't know, it's just so addicting. Okay. Let's just go with this bike. The Duke. <laughs> the Duke. It's actually. Sounds funny. Okay. Let's go with. Button wheels. Super glider, and here we are gonna face the lightning cup. Now, before we gonna go do this, I I just wanna thank you all guys for you know I know that a lot of not a lot of people watch my videos, but to those who do watch my videos, I humbly thank you for taking the time to um watch my playthroughs and all that stuff, it really means a lot. So now, if you guys enjoyed this video, oh, dang it, hold on, I gotta set up my camera. Okay, there we go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't even, hesita don't even hesitate to like, to click the like button and so some support for this. I don't think it's gonna be a finale because we still had to deal with the mirror mode. So let's consider this as a 150cc finale. Let's call it that. But anyway, let's get through this. We got TikTok Clock, Piranha Plant Slide, Grumble Volcano, and Rainbow Road. So let's get to it. So here we are at TikTok Clock, and I gotta say, this is kind of, um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite or least favorite, but I don't know. It's a, it's a good stage, but it just seemed kind of, I don't know. And I burned out, that's great. It just seems kind of boring to me like if I play it like a few times then I'll get bored of it so that's that kind of feeling okay he needs to die okay the spike isn't that bad the handling's great the traction is great and I just got hit by a green shell but we got this piranha plant so Let's eat whoever's in our path. And my piranha plant disappeared. Okay. Never mind. Okay. No. 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 Dang it. Come on. Come on. Duh. Dang it. No worries. We can catch up. No. Okay. We're off to a rusty start. I'm not about to lose this Grand Prix. Okay, triple mushrooms, that's good. Okay, a red shell. Yeah, I'm going out with Rosalina because if no one loves... No, I wouldn't say love, that would be too much. If no one actually consider liking Rosalina, then 
you're obviously just, just sad. Well, I, I wouldn't say that. I respect your opinions if you don't, if you don't like Rosalina, because that's your opinions, and I can respect that, but, but Rosalina, she's, she's really cool. We, we're getting on to that Mario Galaxy power with our side. I mean, you're dealing, we are, we're going through this with the princess of the universe, so that's a pretty big deal. Oh, hello, Red Shell, who always constantly running to walls. Thank you for helping me. Take this shortcut. Now, can we not get hit? We're not getting hit. First place, but style. Just look at her waving to the crowd in awe. Oh, okay, I need to stop. <laughs> mm. So the next track is uh Piranha Plant Slide. Yeah. Also another thing, um, I kind of <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about 3DS Mario Kart 7. I'm it's not that it's a bad game. I played it like another time. And I just realized that I can't get used to the controls. Well, well, I played this. I played Mario Kart 7 uh, last weekend. And I just realized I can't get. Excuse me. I can't get over the, uh, the controls. Like, I'm sure it's easier for you to control it, but I don't know. I think it's because when I play this game, it makes you not want to go back to the other games like Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 7, so I I think that's why. I got used to the controls on Mario Kart 8 that it makes me uh, feel less comfortable with the past Mario Kart games. Well... Except Double Dash because I played it like that was the Mario that was my one of my favorite Mario Kart games in my life. So don't hate on me. But this but this track is actually not it's actually a great track. It's just that during that last turn I keep messing up there. Like we're about to glide over to the uh, surface. So. All right. Oh, and also another thing. Train pie. Oh, what the heck? I, I, okay, okay. That I, I messed it up there. I don't know why. What the heck was that? Oh, yes. Shortcut. Oh, dang it. I turned to, I turned to, uh, my drift didn't work. Okay, we need to catch up. Oh, fire flower, that's all I need. Uh, I thought, I didn't hit him, did I? Oh, come on. Yeah, fire flowers, they're good at some points, but pretty much most of the time they're pretty useless. To me, holy crud! Okay, freaking lack of two. I got a freaking coin. Okay, okay, we need we need to win this. No, 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 no! Well, I got beaten by a freaking lack of two. That's so. That's so G. <laughs> uh, that was that was disappointing, but we're still in the league, so we're not getting three stars. That's another thing. And now we're going to one of my probably one of my least favorite stage track, Grumble Volcano from the Mario Kart Wii. Oh boy, I played this on the original and I did not like it one bit, so, 
So, as you can see, yeah, um, pretty, well, well, here's the thing, I like the, I like the design, well, not the track design, but the, but the, but the whole graphics, they look so nice, much better than the Wii version, now it's more beautiful. The Wii U power! But yeah. You wanna know why it's called Grumble Volcano? They should call They should have called this Crumble Volcano. Just because like you're gonna see in the in the second lap to the third lap. See right here? See right there? As you can see, the stage is literally crumbling apart, falling apart. And that's that's why at least everyone hates the stage. Because if you get caught when the ground's when the ground's losing foothold and you're on the foothold then you're gonna basically sink to the lava and you're wasting so much precious time while the other racers pass you. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. And also, right here, here's when, here's one big mistake I always get. I always thought I could do that trick, like I just did back there before, before I crossed the lap. I always confuse that, so, and sometimes I turn right, and then I end up falling into the lava. That always tricks me. It's like that obscure moment to where... You feel like you're gonna land on that spot, and the next moment you you fall. And we're doing pretty good. Let's just hope. No, that was close. Did not hit me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't fall for that trick, because I already fell for that trick. I fall off. <laughs> I always like falling off, like. Curving towards the edge while I'm about to cross the finish line. It's so funny. Okay. And now, here comes the big finish. Now we're about to race one of the most nostalgia tracks of Mario Inc. 64 Mario Kart and 64 Rainbow Road. This happens to be probably one of the most nostalgic tracks ever. Just a, just look how beautiful that, that is. Tell me that you guys don't think... Tell me you guys don't think it, this is beautiful and I just burn out. I don't care. This is, this is like so great. And just the music, the... The graphics and look at there. See that train? That's from the that's from the train from Super Mario 3D World. The gold train. Oh my gosh. Oh, watch out for that chain chop. Dang it! Okay, I just suddenly become a complete dirt by not avoiding that chain chop. You had to catch up. Boy, look at this. This looks so gorgeous. Blue shell, lightning. Are you kidding? <sighs> and now, all that gorgeous moment has come to an end. Now it's the time we stop playing games and get out of here. Oh boy, I almost fell off. Look at this. The SNES tracks of weird. Hovering aboard, it's just so awesome. And look there, they're putting, they're blowing up fireworks. And look at that, we're above Toad Harbor and all that stuff. Instead of like going into space. Look, there's Bowser. Fireworks of characters. It's like a celebration to end off the Mario Kart. See, Mario Kart 8 tracks. And let's end it off here. 
going out the track first place. That this is why I want to end it off with Rosalina. This track definitely, along with Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road, fits her. This is so amazing. Let's view our highlight reel. Dang, my ears are clogging up. Okay, I don't know why they didn't zoom it. Okay, I don't know why they didn't show Bowser getting eaten. I don't know why. Freaky camera angle. But no matter. We got first place almost every single track except Piranha Plant Slide. But hey. Freaking lock it to lock it to. Ugh. And we got ourselves a beautiful lightning trophy. Freaking lightning cloud. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh. Should I post? Nah, I don't think so. I don't want to go to the awkward stage again. <laughs> but yeah, that was it. And here comes the credits. So. That's the, that's probably the end, well, I'm gonna say the end, cause we're gonna go through the mirror mode, so, stay tuned for that, but, gonna listen to this jazzy mu music for a second. Oh, that sucks. But anyway, yeah, um, so I might as well give my overall opinions on Mario Kart 8. I think this is probably one of the best Mario Kart games in the series. Like the gameplay, it was the gameplay was really good. I like how they I like how they included the zero gravity mechanic, you know, just to get the new feeling of Mario Kart 8. Along with they brought back the um the gliders and the underwater mechanic, so that's really cool. But yeah, um, the graphics, oh my gosh, the graphics, top notch, along, top notch, they just look so, so gorgeous, some, like, I can't express how much the graphics look so beautiful in this game, it's probably the most, it's probably even more great a bit more great than Super Mario 3D World along with that but I don't know it's really it looks so fantastic and the music I can just hear the drum solo I just heard the drum solo right now the music I love how they went with the orchestrated parts of the music and definitely one of the most top-notch music in like the whole Mario Kart game Mario Kart series, probably even this, the Mario franchise. But one thing I can say about is, well, let me get into that later. The online, I like how I like the tournaments and worldwide, just a different selections we could do online. But I think Nintendo still got a lot of work to do because. With the people dropping out, that makes everyone drop out and leave the group. And the items... Well, the item selection, I had to say, Screw coins! Screw the freaking coins! In this game, as items. But... Aside from that, the item selection is not bad. I just hate that the I... Well, pretty much the items in this game... Pretty much the... One of the most unbalanced item selections in the game because online is where the items go on a rampage, especially with green shells, blue shells, red shells, and just and the lag. 
when you when you feel like you hit the enemy and and that person doesn't get hit. So the items they had to work more on the items because when you like at first to fifth to third place you you got good items but when you're in last place you you get like bad items to where you can't catch up. So I hope Nintendo fix that. You hear me, Nintendo? I really hope you fix that. But nonetheless, even though I completely raged so hard in this game, Mario Kart 8, it's a great game. I would definitely recommend buying it for like online purposes, time trials, and all this stuff. It's so amazing. So, that wraps up for this video. So, thank you all guys for watching. And, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, next time, this is not the finale yet. We're gonna go through mirror mode, and that's gonna be quite challenging because I get used to the state, the track design, but it's gonna be really confusing and so hard to go to the tracks again but in reverse so that's gonna be quite interesting but <coughs> excuse me just thank you all guys for watching so have a great day this is like Sonic 25 sign oh and um about my Sonic Generations playthrough um at Friday because for certain reason I can't upload Thursday tomorrow at Friday we are going to finish Sonic Generations so try to see if I can upload it the last the next parts so be on the lookout for that so thank y'all guys for watching and have a great day this is like Sonic 25 signing out bye bye